Bitcoin, Ether, and most other major cryptocurrencies are climbing higher despite Tuesday's CPI report, which shows higher than expected inflation in January. So joining us now to discuss the crypto markets is eToro investment analyst, Callie Cox. Welcome, Callie. Hey, welcome. Uh, excited to be here. Glad you're here as well. So, uh, look, we, we have this inflation data come in. It's a little bit higher. And then when we look at how the market is anticipating uh, what the Fed will do over the next few months. We're looking at the Fed watch tool. Uh, a, a few interesting things happen. It, it not only expects 25 basis points at the next meeting, but another 25 basis points after that. And it keeps going uh, up until about five and change. And then it seems in December, a little bit of a Fed pivot uh, is right now being priced. Uh, into the market, it, it's kind of an, an oddball thing. So, wh what do we what do we do here with how the market views inflation, the threat of inflation, and ultimately what that means for a risk asset like Bitcoin? Yeah, so I think interest rates are one of the primary factors that crypto investors should be looking at right now because, as you said, I mean, crypto is a risk asset. There's no way to argue around it at the moment. Um, and we've seen that. We've seen that over the past year or so with a lot of crypto getting hit really hard as the Fed has increased interest rates. And the reason why the Fed is acting so aggressively is because uh, inflation has been stubbornly high. I mean, luckily, it's coming down. And I think some of that relief is being priced back into crypto. And just the fact that Bitcoin and other uh, more quality crypto names got hit so hard, I think it made crypto prices especially sensitive to, you know, better than expected news. And that's kind of what we're getting. So it's a weird mix right now because a high interest rate environment is really tough for risk assets. And we could see a thinning out in the industry. But at the same time, investors are coming around to the fact that we likely saw the peak in inflation and we could be seeing the peak in Fed rates sometime soon. Well, it, but that peak, nonetheless, the market does kind of anticipate it was something like 5.75 at some point this this year. Uh, it, it, that's a bit higher than what initially we thought it would be. We thought it'd be at the most five, five and a quarter. So it seems like it, the, the market is is anticipating more and more. It, it's sort of moving it, the goal a little bit. Uh, do, do, does that have, you don't think that's going to have any effect? That's You don't think that's going to... Um, you know, maybe dry up uh, any interest in, in crypto anytime soon. Do you think that despite this anticipation of growing interest rates, um, and this growing anticipation of interest rates, that, that this will just continue to move higher? Well, I think it's a little more nuanced than that. Um, I think higher okay. interest rates force I uh, know higher interest rates for force investors to look for that economic value, look for that utility, look for what's working now versus what's working later. So I think this anticipation of you know marginally higher interest rates will look different across the crypto space. Um, I know you mentioned a few minutes ago there's been, there's uh, been a rise in speculative coins today, and you're going to see that speculation come into the market here and there. But at the same time, a higher in interest rate environment could favor those more quality cryptos, and you could see that flight to quality, a flight to you know, Bitcoin being uh, the big brand name of the crypto space with a lot of institutional money behind it. I mean, Ethereum, too, has gotten a lot of flows this year. Uh, so that, to me, looks more like a response to a higher interest rate environment. And even if the margin or even if the Fed's peak rate moves up just a little bit here, we know that they're coming to a peak. And I think that's providing some relief to crypto investors, allowing them to maybe feel comfortable enough to tiptoe back into those quality coins. Also getting news this morning uh, that White House has named Lael Brainard to lead the National Economic Council, which means she will be leaving the Fed. Now, Brainard is known for having a marginally less aggressive approach to hiking interest rates compared to Fed Chair Jerome Powell. So Fed is losing uh, a dove, basically. What do you think the impact will be on future rate hikes and risk assets? So the Fed just isn't losing a dove. They're losing the head of the doves, basically. And it's caused a lot of concern. Uh, I'm less concerned because you have to think there are several Fed governors and you know, a lot of gov Fed governors have been in step with each other um, when it comes to voting. A lot of the voting on interest rate hikes 
has been near unanimous. So I'm a little less worried about that, but you know, we all know Fed officials come out and talk about the future of policy. That's one of the Fed's tools when you think about, you know, what they can, how they can help guide the markets outside of interest rates and balance sheet policy. So I think Lale's uh, departure will mean more t- when it comes to Fed speak and, you know, what we could hear from Fed officials between the meetings. So it may lead to a little bit more market volatility, but in terms of policy, I'm a little less worried. You also talked about speculative coins. Uh, what are your thoughts on the whole dog coin? You know, we've got Floki, Shiba Inu, and, and Doge spiking uh, since Elon Musk tweeted about the CEO of, of Twitter. Might be a Shiba Inu. Uh, deep sigh. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so speculation is never going to leave the markets. It's part of human behavior. I mean, we all like to, I think we've realized over the past few years that community is a big factor when it comes to investing, especially among younger investors. So I'm not shocked that this is happening now, especially given the circumstances. But if you want to invest in more speculative coins that don't have that utility, that economic value under it, then you really need to be careful because headlines are flying around everywhere. um, And at the same time, in a high interest rate environment, these more speculative projects are going to have a harder time attracting capital. All right, Kelly, thank you for your analysis. That was eToro Investment Analyst, Kelly Cox.